Almost Human, Altered Carbon, Black Mirror, Brave New World, Continuum, Humans, Tales from the Loop, Upload. All of the IMDB links will be available in the description of this video. Stay tuned to the end where I reveal my most despised futuristic sci-fi TV show. Coming in at number five, we have Brave New World. IMDB score 7.0 in a utopia whose perfection hinges upon control of monogamy and privacy. Members of the collective begin to question the rules putting their regimented society on a collision course with forbidden love and revolution. Mm. The one ding I would give to this show is that I felt like they had constructed a cooler world than what the story or the authors were willing to wring from that world. If you like the book 1984, then give this show a watch. Coming in at number four, we have Upload. The IMDB gives us a rating of 7.9. A man is able to choose his own afterlife after his untimely death by having his consciousness uploaded into a virtual world. As he gets used to this new life and befriends his angel, a real world handler, questions about his death begin to arise. Now what this show is, is it's light and fun. It doesn't get dark, it doesn't get deep. It's an enjoyable watch. Did you ever watch The Good Place? You know how it had kind of a, a friendly, fun vibe. It's in that same kind of tonal vein. Our number three slot for future sci-fi TV shows, we've got the show Humans. The IMDB rating for that is 7.9. In a parallel present, where the latest must-have gadget for any busy family is a synth, which is a highly developed robotic servant that's so similar to a real human that it's surely going to change the way that we live. If you're into the AI thing, which you are, if you're worried about it, give this show a watch. You know, you're bringing up consciousness, you're bringing up sentience, you're bringing up a new life form. You're bringing up, are these just tools or are they beings? What's going on? Infidelity in your marriage with your robot servant. It's a good show, give it a watch. The number two show on the sci-fi future list is Altered Carbon. It has an IMDB rating of 7.9. Seems like they all have 7.9s, doesn't it? And their description of the show, set in a future where consciousness is digitized and stored, a prisoner returns to life in a new body and must solve a mind-bending murder to win his freedom. If that sounds interesting, it is interesting. The show world does all the things that sci-fi should do. This is the number one sci-fi futuristic TV show. Not everybody's going to agree with me on this at all. The title is Tales from the Loop. The IMDB rating on it, 7.4. The townspeople who live above the loop, a machine built to unlock and explore the mysteries of the universe, experience things previously consigned to the realm of science fiction. The show has a great show rating from me of 10, an enjoyability rating of 10, and it has a tweak factor of 2. It gets the tweak because I don't think I have ever seen a sci-fi TV show that feels more like literature rot visual if uh who's the guy that wrote chrysanthemums um steinbeck if steinbeck were to become a science fiction writer and write about a future i feel that that this is the kind of stories he would have written it presents a future that is utterly lived in it's unlike any other show that i've seen and i don't expect that a lot of people would feel that this is the number one show, but it does something utterly unique and it's really fascinating. I haven't seen anything like it, really. And if you have, please, if you've seen movies that have the same kind of tone, if you've seen other TV shows, I watch a lot of TV shows, so when I say it's pretty unique, I, I'm probably pretty accurate about that. Um, but leave a comment for shows if you like this show and you've seen other things that you feel are in the same vein, share them with other people who are watching this. Please, please do that. Uh, it'll, it'll be good for all of us. Thank you for doing that. Now, as promised, the worst of the future shows, Black Mirror. It doesn't deserve the hype that it got at all. So I'm going the opposite direction and saying that show sucks. 